Hello, everybody, and it is game day here in Dietrich, Illinois, as we get set for baseball. Danny Vaya here with you. The Dietrich Moving Maroons hosting their next opponent today. It is the Sisney Running Lions. Good afternoon here from Dietrich Junior Senior High School. I'm Danny Vaya here. Thank you for joining us here on Wabash Catch TV. We hope you are doing well, and we hope you are staying dry because... Wow, we have had another wet week of weather, and that has kept some of our games from being played. But today, grounds crew working really hard here on this beautiful field we're seeing here in front of us, getting a game ready. Because yesterday, we were supposed to have a ball game for you here at this very field. Dietrich supposed to host two topless. Of course, Mother Nature had other ideas and washed us out. But today, we are ready for baseball as Dietrich gets set to host the Sisney Running Lions. Let's get a look at the Running Lions starting lineup. Batting first, number two, the shortstop, Hagen Howard. Batting second, the catcher, number 23, Cooper Brown. Batting third, Gavin Harrell, the starting pitcher today. Batting fourth, number 13, Noah Legg, the third baseman. Batting fifth, Caden Baker, Baker, the center fielder. Batting sixth, it's Caden Dagg, the left fielder. Batting seventh, Zach Dagg. On first base, he's number 20. Batting eighth, number four, Alex Clements. He's in right field. And batting ninth is Josh Biggs at second base. We are ready to go. Starting pitcher today for Dietrich. Gets a swing and a miss. That's Lucas Westendorf. He's 0-2 this year with a 2.03 ERA. Ten innings pitched, seven strikeouts on the year. Wind blowing heavy in and there's a shot in the right field. That's the first hit of the game. That's Hagen Howard with a base knock, dumping it in the right field. Runner on, nobody out. Leadoff man. The defense for Dietrich as follows. Over in left field, Landon Keck in center, Jackson Funneman. Over in right, Justin Bergen. In third, Andrew Hall, Gavin Meinhart, Manning Short, Mason Lighty at second, Dominic Ashley at first, and Karsten Baxter doing the catching for Lucas Westendorf. First pitch is a ball. On the next one. And that misses two. Home plate umpire today, Alan Schaefer calling balls and strikes. Base umpire, Tyus Holmes. Sisney coming in with their blue uniforms, orange trim. Swing and a smack in the left. That's in there for a base hit. Heck's going to recover it. And Sisney has two runners on with nobody out. A very windy day here in Dietrich, Illinois. A beautiful day nonetheless. 63 degrees, albeit it is a bit windy out here. Thank you for joining us here on Wabash Catch TV, wherever you may be watching, on your TV screens, on YouTube, or on Facebook Live. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Sisney's first pitch strike to Gavin Harrell, today's starter. Harrell looking to help himself here early in this first. Wind blowing in from left to right. Inside out swing. And that's going to land a bloop single. And that's going to load the bases for the Lions. Throw gets away from right to second. And that's going to score one. Hagen Howard will score on the error. And Sisney draws first blood here in this one. It is one nothing running Lions. That single went in the right field, actually in deep first base, deep behind the first base line. And it just skidded enough and the throw, an errant one. Runners on first and second, nobody out. One run already in for Sisney. And Sisney on a two-game losing streak, trying to get their first win since last month. And the pitch on the way, it's a strike. One and one, the count on Noah Legg. Legg wearing that American flag-styled helmet. Wiggles the bat. 
A little bit of a closed stance. Left foot up in front. And that's in there for a strike as he swung and missed. Took a half swing there. One and two. Harrell at first, Bowen at second. One run already in for Sisney. That misses the zone, two and two. Now Sisney losing their last two games. Last one, a 16-0 thumping against North Clay, Clay City. Gets underneath this one and he fouls it straight back. Still 2-2. Two -two. Another unearned run. And a Mettendorf start. That breaking ball misses. And Mettendorf has a really good ERA. But if you look at the stats, there's been over a dozen runs allowed that were unearned. Officially, had only learned, earned five runs. Has only allowed five earned runs so far. He allows the walk to Noah Leg, and the bases are loaded. Bases full of running Lions. Caden Baker will come up here. The center fielder for Sisney. Trying to add on to the lead. We're here in the first inning. Just getting underway here at Dietrich's Junior Senior High School. A beautiful day, cloudy, big patches of blue, and a windy one. You can see it on their uniforms. And misses, no, that's in there for a strike. One and one the count now on Baker. Baker with that green bat. Here it is, and it's right down Main Street for a strike. After him, it'll be Caden Dagg, the left fielder, to come up. Dietrich coming in at 2-6 and six overall. 3-3 three and three are the Lions in the dirt. Counts even now at 2. And we have some more rain forecasted for next week. But we'll try and enjoy this next week round of sunshine that should last us through Monday according to local forecasts. So get on out and enjoy it. Full count. On Baker. Upstairs, ball four. Cooper Bowen will walk in to score. Harold will move to third. Leg to second. Baker with an RBI walk. It is two nothing running Lions. conference on the mound to re-strategize. Sisney doing a good job waiting out Westendorf. Lucas having a little bit of issue with his command. Uh, however, first couple batters were a bit aggressive on him. Some base hits. Back to back walks for Westendorf. First pitch on the way to Caden Dagg. Misses. Dag batting from the left side. The junior takes a hack at that one, gets nothing. One and one. Beautiful ballpark here at Dietrich. It's junior, senior high. Ground ball, base hit. That's going to score one, and that might score two. You bet. Four-run inning for the Sisney Running Lions, and it is 4-0. Two-run single for Caden Dagg. Baker will move to second. Four across already for Sisney. They are hungry for that win. Yeah, we told you only three and three this season for the running Lions. They hadn't won a game since a 10-2 victory over Norris City Omaha Enfield. That was on March 25th. It's been a while. Cut and a miss. That one 
went away from Zach Dag. Zach, the first baseman. Down 0-1. Runners at first and second. Still nobody out. Ooh, off the end of the bat towards the Sisney dugout. We've got the Sisney and Dietrich softball game just a few hundred feet to our left, to your right of the screen. 0-2 coming. Swing and a miss. Took an awkward swing, and that strikes him out. So Zach Dagg will go down on strikes first out of the inning for Westendorf. And now here comes Alex Clements. Trying to score a little bit more for Sisney. That one misses way out. Clements, the senior for Sisney. When dying down just a little bit. That one also outside. Dimensions here at this ballpark. Right field line, 315. Left field line, 320. Left center, 345. Right center, 340. And deep center field, 380 feet. Clements fouls that straight back. Yeah, the Dietrich coach, Clayton Compton, told me if there's a home run hit deep in the center, he'd buy me dinner. Well, coach, I'm going to hold you to that. It will be a tough day for hitters, though. So far, Sisney, no problem. Swing and a miss, throw down a third. It goes in the left field. Another run scores. Baker will come in, and that throw gets away. At home plate, throw back to third, and he's out. A very weird sequence of events. But Sisney gets another run. Hayden Dagg thrown out at third. And Alex Clements didn't even have to do much. Baker went for the steal, and the throw from the catcher went into left. Swing and a miss on Clement. So an E2 on the catcher, Carson Baxter. And that ball bounces to the backstop. And then the pitcher, Westendorf, threw one to five on that put out to get Dag out. A lot going on on that last play. Big cut and a miss. And that finally ends the inning, but not before eight Cisne running Lions come up, and five of them come across the score. After a half inning, it's Cisne 5, Dietrich coming up. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance and Pekin, beyond the expected. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know-How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. 
Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. Back in Dietrich, Illinois, a windy Dietrich. Five nothing Sisney after an eight batters reached five came around to score. Dietrich will try to respond. The moving Maroons with their first appearance here at the plate today. First pitch upstairs for Landon Keck. Landon Keck playing left field for Dietrich. Wearing number three with that open stance. And that wind, as you can see, moving our cameras today. If you couldn't already tell from the jerseys moving, it's really flapping out here. That one just misses. Maybe just below the knees. Maybe just a little bit in. Two and one, advantage, Keck. Starting pitcher, number seven, Gavin Harrell. Shoots it the other way, but it goes foul. Keck, one of three moving Maroons with eight hits to lead the team. Batting 364, the junior. That one is outside, three and two. After him, it's Mason Lighty. Breaking ball. Got him. What a pitch by Gavin Harrell. Caught Keck looking frozen. Goodbye. One down. Rest of the lineup, Mason Lighty batting second. He's playing second base. Batting third, number 99, first baseman Dominic Ashley. Cleaning up the DH, Gavin French batting fourth. Batting fifth is Lucas Westendorf, today's starting pitcher for Dietrich. Batting sixth, number 11, Gavin Meinhardt, the shortstop. Batting seventh, Jackson Funneman, the center fielder. Batting eighth, number 26, Andrew Hall, the third baseman. And batting ninth, Carson Baxter, the catcher. Not in the lineup, but playing in the field is number 23, Justin Burngen, over and right. One and one the count on Lighty after... Keck struck out looking. Lighty now behind in the count, now two. The umpire calls time. We can hear the wind howling against our windows. Not sure if you can hear it at home, but it definitely is noticeable. And that catches him looking. Called strike three. Well spotted pitches from Gavin Harrell. Two down. So far, Sisney hitting all their spots offensively and pitching. Defense hasn't had to do a thing so far. Back-to-back -back looking Ks. Dominic Ashley, the big left-hander, 99. Ashley with eight hits on the season, batting 320. Four runs batted in. Ashley, the sophomore. Umpire calling time. And we're back in it. Ashley. Looking for the 1-1. Swings through that one. 1-2. One and two. and so Harrell now with a chance to strike out the side here in the first inning. The 1-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. 
Gavin Harrell makes short work of the moving Maroons, and the inning is over. He strikes out the side, and after one, it's Sisney 5, Dietrich nothing. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. If only the bank can just ask their fee. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory of Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. 5-0 Sisney here in Dietrich, Illinois. Danny Valle here with you. Thank you for joining us here on Wabash Catch TV. Another wet week, but after being rained out yesterday, Dietrich ready to go. But it seems like Sisney ready to go on this offense. Bunt toward the pitcher. He goes to his right, Westendorf, but can't make the throw. That throw just to the first baseman's right. As Biggs will think about going to second, but he'll stay at first wisely. So that's an error on Westendorf. Top of the second. Sisney trying to add on after that five spot in the first. Highlighted by a two run single by Caden Dagg. The pitch in the dirt. And Carson Baxter with a nice block, keeping it right in front of him. 1 0 on Hagen Howard. And that's a strike. Howard singled to begin the game, and he came around to score on a Gavin Harrell single. The 3 0. He reaches out. He gets over the top of it and fouls it away. Rather, 2 and 1. It'll be a tough day if you're a hitter who likes to send the ball in the air because the wind is blowing straight in. Here's the pitch, runner goes, fouled away. Howard, the shortstop, followed him. Following him, it'll be Cooper Bowen, the catcher. Fly ball in the center field. Jackson in front of him, moving to his left, dives, can't make the grab, and he is out. 
Great play by Justin Bergen to keep his eyes open. And he throws out Biggs, who I don't think was expecting that throw to be close. He was reading it. He thought Fondman was going to make the catch. He didn't. And now he's out from the throw in right by Bergen. There's a ground ball, left side, handling it as Hall. He'll throw over to first to Ashley for the out. Two down. That goes five to three. Bowen retired on that at bat. Gavin Harrell, the pitcher, will come up. So Hagen Howard officially reaching on a fielder's choice. He's at second after the ground out by Bowen. Runner in scoring position. Two down, Gavin Harrell looking for another RBI. He scored the third run of this game. That one just outside, 2-0. and oh. Harrell striking up his side in the bottom of the first. Sun peeking out here on the infield. There's a strike. Sun will peek through here once in a while. It is a cloudy day. Grounds crew working many hours to get this field ready for baseball. And it looks good so far. Two and one. Outside, three and one. Westendorf falling behind to these Sisney batters here early on. 3-1 pitch. And that is ball four. A walk to Harrell. He's on base again. And now here's Noah Leg. He walked and scored his last time up. And Leg takes that one. Next offering, another one, 2-0. and oh. At this point, Sisney's going to wait until Westendorf throws them a strike. It's probably what coaches tell them to do. Wait till he gets one over, and he does there, 2-1. and one. He's still behind, though. His team's behind 5 nothing. Next one, swings through it, 2-2. Two, two. After leg, it'll be Caden Baker. Westendorf sets, fires through the left side, and that's going to get to short. Here's a throw across the diamond, and he gets him. So six to three, leg is retired on the ground out. Sisney threatening, but they scratch across no runs. After one and a half, it's Sisney five, Dietrich nothing. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's.
dedicated, devoted, and driven. The folks at Amy Lee Realty are here to find you the home that you deserve. Born and raised in Clay County and Northern Wayne County, the real estate needs of our area are Amy Lee's expertise. Check out Amy Lee's Facebook page for current promotions or browse local listings at amyleerealty.com. Or if you're looking to buy something new or sell your property, come into Amy Lee Realty in Flora to see what she can do for you. Chapman's Furniture has the best prices every day. You can find them open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5 and located at 210, 300, and 306 West Main Street in Salem. Chapman's features a full line of furniture, including Ashley Furniture, Bedding by Sealy and Bimco, and the largest selection of rugs in Southern Illinois. They have a huge selection of recliners, including lift and power, and wallpaper and border in stock at closeout prices. Call 618-548-2221 for the best price around. 5-0 Sisney, bottom of the second. Gavin Harrell still on the mound. Three strikeouts for him. That's in there for a strike. So far, Harrell's been hitting his spots perfectly. He's gotten two guys looking. He got one swinging. French, the DH. Swings and a high fastball. 0-2 quickly. Harrell looking for strikeout number four. 0-2 to French. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Four straight strikeouts to start the game for Gavin Harrell. One down. Sisney scoring five in that first inning. Three straight hits to open the game. An RBI by the starting pitcher. Harrell gave him a 1-0 lead, followed by an RBI walk to Caden Baker. Then Dag, Caden Dag, with a big hit so far, a two-run single. And then Baker would later steal third and then score as the throw from the catcher went into left field. So four of the five runs earned for Sisney. 0-1 on Westendorf, pitcher to pitcher. That one misses, 1-1. One and one. Oh, one to Lucas, and he gets a piece of it, goes back, one and two. Dietrich coming in on a two-game losing streak. They lost 8 nothing against Newton back on April 9th, and then on the 5th, a 10-2 loss to Effingham. Inside, two and two. Dietrich this season, 2-6 and six overall. Have only won one game here at home. And that's called strike three. Five straight strikeouts for Gavin Harrell. And he is dealing so far today. May as well get the lawn chairs out for the defense. They haven't been given much opportunity to do anything. Five straight Ks and a 5 nothing lead for Sisney. That one misses way up inside and high. Gavin Meinhart, the shortstop for Dietrich. Trying to get something going for the moving Maroons. That one misses low, 2-0. and oh. The first batter, Harrell has fallen behind, 2-0. and oh. Keck and the first batter of the game for him gave him some fits. There's a shot in the right field, and that's going to go foul. Bit of a break there for Harrell. Five strikeouts. Three of them have been looking. 2-1 to Meinhardt. Sets in. Fires. Inside out swing. It's 2-2. Two and two. Alan Schaefer behind home plate calling balls and strikes. On the base paths is Tyus Holmes, our two umpires for the day. So far, they're watching Sisney dominate on both ends of the ball. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball dips low. 
Full count. It's the second full count for Harold today. Last one was the leadoff guy, Landon Heck. Called strike three. Six straight strikeouts to open the game for Gavin Harrell. And wow, he is dealing today. Through two. It is Sisney five. Dietrich nothing. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Clay County Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital. Professional care. Compassionate hearts. Hi, my name is Landon Carter and I'm a financial consultant at Benjamin F. Edwards in Flora. Whether you're planning to send a loved one to school, preparing for retirement, or passing your wealth to the next generation, we have the knowledge and perspective to implement financial strategies that will help you move smoothly through life's transitions. Here at Edwards, our clients know that we are fully invested in their financial future. To find out more, Cole Duke and I invite you to give us a call at 618-508-8050. Benjamin F. Edwards, member SIPC. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Clay City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Back here in Dietrich. Five nothing Sisney. And so far, Gavin Harrell has more strikeouts than Sisney has runs. And more than Dietrich for that matter. Six strikeouts, six batters for Gavin Harrell. He has been on fire today. He came ready to play. Oh and one. The count has Ashley, the new pitcher for the moving Maroons. Next pitch, ground ball over to third. Nice dive over on the left side, and he's out. Andrew Hall flashing the leather. Let's check that out again. Busting it out of the box is Baker. And he's retired on a slick play by Hall. They need something to energize them. And that play, hopefully for them, can do it. Shot right to first. And that's out number two quickly. So two quick outs for Dominic Ashley. And it brings up Zach Dagg. Slow swing and a big cut. Down the third baseline, it's through. And that's a single for Dagg. So both the Dag brothers getting active today on the base paths. Both of them have hits. This one is younger brother Zach, the freshman. Alex Clements coming up from the left side of the plate. Takes that one way high, 1-0. Oh. Wind blowing straight in now. Here's Clements, waiting for the 1-0. Swings through, it's 1-1. One one. That one's in the dirt, and that gets to the backstop. That's going to allow Dag to go to second.
Ashley fires, swing and a miss, strike two. After Clements, it's Josh Biggs. The wind really picking up right now. If you can't tell by the shaky cam. 2-2, two -two. fouled off. Beautiful ballpark here in Dietrich, Illinois. The infield is all dirt, not a patch of grass unless you reach the outfield or foul territory. 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss, strike three, and that ends the inning. So Sisney putting another runner in scoring position, but unable to capitalize still. The running Lions lead 5 nothing. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Here in Dietrich, you're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. My grandfather, Carol Rush, opened Rush Appliance in October of 1949. This is Sean Rush, and I am driven by the same determination and commitment to quality that set us on the road to success. A lot has changed in the appliance industry since 1949, but at Rush Appliance, we're doing everything we can to remain trusted, strong, and competitive. We are extremely proud of our roots, and we look forward to providing you with quality and service at Rush Appliance and Furniture Company in downtown Fairfield. For nearly 40 years, family-owned Little Egypt Golf Cars has been dedicated to serving Southern Illinois' golf and utility car needs. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility located along I-57 in Salem. Our interactive showroom displays all of the latest accessories and vehicle designs. We offer new and used vehicle sales, a full parts and service department, and a rental fleet of over 600 vehicles. Whether it's riding in style on the course, cruising with the family, or having a rugged vehicle on the job site, we have you covered. Proudly serving Illinois and Missouri with three locations. Five nothing running Lions, the Sisney running Lions looking for their first win in weeks. Off to a good start, and Gavin Harrell has been untouchable. That one misses one and oh. He has struck out the first six batters for Dietrich, and he faces. Arguably their top hitter, Jackson Funneman. Three home runs this year. Funneman taking that first one. Now waiting for that second pitch. Ooh, that one nearly taking his head off. Want to thank you for joining us wherever you may be watching on Catch TV, over on Facebook, or on YouTube. 2-0 to Funneman. Caught and a miss for a strike on Jackson. Swing and a miss, two and two. Harold's done a great job falling behind, then coming right back. That's how he did to Gavin Meinhardt to end that last inning. Two two on the way to Funneman. And he fouls it off to the fence behind him. Jackson Funneman, rather, with two home runs this year. Seven runs batted in. 208 in eight games for the junior here in Dietrich. Trying to get the moving Maroons' his first hit. 2-2 two -two from Harrell. Lifts a fly ball into right field. Let's see if the wind does anything with it. And it's going to blow it behind Justin Burgeon, or excuse me, Alex Clements. So the first base runner comes on for Dietrich, and it's on a bloop hit into right center. Looked like the wind may have been playing games out there. It is blowing hard right now. So Clements may have initially had a beat on it, and then the wind took it another direction. Runner on for Dietrich. There's a bunt back to Harrell. Gets past him, and everybody's going to be safe. Great bunt laid down by Andrew Hall. Just 
got enough of that bunt to push it past Harrell. Once it got past Harrell, that was it. Nobody was going to get to that one. Runners at the corners for the moving Maroons with nobody out. They're cooking here in the third. And a big gust of wind. Hitting directly at home plate. And the throw to first, not in time. Maybe you won't see too many pickoff moves, especially when the wind was blowing like that. As it is really howling right now. That wind may have taken that fly ball that looked a little bit like a easy fly ball, but that wind really did, did a number to it. And got him in the helmet. And he's not phased. He's okay because his team has the bases loaded. Boy, that ball hit him right in the noggin, right in the back tip of the helmet. And honestly, that's probably the best place you wanted to hit you, where it's the most away from your skull. And so that hit by pitch nicks Carson Baxter and all of a sudden, the bases are loaded for the moving Maroons with the top of the lineup coming up. First pitch is a strike to Landon Keck. So a bloop double, a single, and a hit by pitch. 1-1, one, one, outside. And Carroll started this game with six straight strikeouts. And the bottom of the lineup finally adjusting to his stuff. Now let's see what the top of the lineup can do. Top of the order here, Landon Keck. And it's outside, 3-1. and one. So now a chance for the Maroons to walk in a run. The pitch from Carroll. From Harrell, and that's inside. Three and two. A good pitch by Harrell. Running Landon inside. Wynn giving a nice big howl. Full count pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That is seven strikeouts for Gavin Harrell this afternoon. And that's the first out of the inning. A ground ball double play would get him out of this big jam. His first and only jam of the day. And that one goes to the backstop. Here comes Harrell. The throw coming in. He got him. What a play by Cooper Brown over to Gavin Harrell to get Funneman, who thought he was going to be fast enough, but he doesn't. Two down. So that goes two to one on that play, two down. Runners on second and third now, and that one is popped up. Who's got it? And that is Zach Dagg with the squeeze and the out. So Lighty pops out to first, and the inning is over. So Sisney once again threatening. They had the bases loaded but they made an out at home, a strikeout, and then the pop-out from Lighty to end the threat. We are through three, and it is Sisney five, nothing. This is IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Head on down to Boyd Discount Furniture and Mattress Center in Wayne City, Illinois. The finest names in comfort, beauty, and function like Ashley, Serta, and Brooks are waiting for you on both sides of the main drag in downtown Wayne City. Head on down to Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center or BoydFurn.com for huge selections of sofas, sectionals, recliners, leather furniture, beds, mattress sets, sleeper sofas, coffee, big on value, all roads lead to Boyd's. 
Christmas furniture. Carson Auction Realty is the one-stop shop for all your real estate needs. With over 40 years in business, Carson Auction Realty is the only company in the area that offers public auctions, real estate brokerage, and certified appraisals. If you're considering selling your farm, home, or commercial property, give us a call, and we can assist you in every step of your real estate sale from pricing your property correctly to properly marketing to find any and potential buyers, and most importantly, selling property for top dollar. To contact us, go to our website, CarsonAuctionRealty.com, or call our office at 662-4911. Give me all your lumber. Doors, paint, windows, electrical, plumbing, and much more. Oh, yeah. Give me all your guns, too. John Lucas. What? You better be dreaming about all the stuff we sell here at Zinc Building Center. Oh, I would. Zinc Building Center in Louisville on Route 45. It's a cool place. Dietrich threatening in that last half inning. The base is loaded. Couldn't get one across. Still 5 nothing here in the top of the fourth inning. Josh Biggs, the nine hitter, bunts through that one for a strike. He reached on an error, then was thrown out at second. Ashley still on the mound in his second inning of work. That one misses. One one makes contact, grounds at the second. Easy play for Lighty. Out number one. You notice over at first base, Landon Keck, who started the game and left, he's now at first as Ashley moved from first to pitcher. And Westendorf now in left field. Ashley's first pitch to Hagen Howard. Ball 1-0. Each team looking to end two-game losing streaks. Called strike. Two and one now on Howard. He's been on twice. Last time he reached on a fielder's choice. Officially 0 for 1, or 1 for 2 with a single. And a run scored. 2-2 two, two the count on Howard. The shortstop. Ashley deals. Swings over the top of that one. And Ashley is going to grab it and flip it over to first. Two down. Now for Sisney, it's Cooper Bowen. He's singled and grounded out. He's one for two, and he scored. First pitch, breaking ball is a strike. Next pitch from Dominic Ashley, and that's going to be lined into center field. Base hit. Another hit for Sisney. Second hit for Hagen Howard today. Or rather, Cooper Bowen. That pitch missing just off the plate, 1-0. and Gavin Harrell. First two innings was perfect. Back the outfield, the infield, nobody really moved. Then it got really active in that third inning when Dietrich sent up five batters, loaded the bases, but couldn't scratch across one. It's one and one on the pitcher, Harrell. 
Runner goes. That's Bowen, and he's going to get in there. So Bowen with a stolen base. He's in scoring position with a 5 nothing lead for his team. Rip to third on the bounce. Andrew Hald has no idea where it is. He's going to pick it up, and everybody's going to be safe. And that ball was hit really hard. Looked like Hall was going to pick it off the bouncer. He was going to grab it off the line. But it went away from his glove. And so that is a base hit for Harrell. It's a hard hit. It's tough to give him an error on that one. Now Harrell will go to second uncontested. Give him a stolen base. So Bowen at third. Harrell at second, two down. Sisney up 5 nothing here in the top of the fourth. Ball in the dirt, good block by Baxter. Noah Legg had a walk in the first inning that gave him an RBI. The 1-1 one, one to Legg. It's inside, 2-1. A lot of guys with double G's in their names here in this running Lions lineup. And as he misses two and two, you got Noah Legg, you got Caden Dagg, you got Zach Dagg, and then you got Josh Biggs. I think I got them all. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and Legg goes down swinging. And so once again, Sisney threatening to add a little bit more, but they can't get anyone across we are through four and a half it is still five nothing Sisney on top of Dietrich this is IHSA baseball here on Wabash Catch TV my name is Robin Stanford I own Stanford Marketing it's a promotional products business along with an embroidery business and we do custom hats t-shirts anything you name it we can make it people like that we do stuff in house and we can actually make things here and that we're not contracting the work out to other places we never say no we always try to find a way to do it if anybody can do it we can do it we are hard-working women that is for sure come to Stanford Marketing in Florida for all your custom and promotional needs tomorrow. Some fear the uncertainty it brings. Some trust the promise it holds. At Grinnell Mutual, we are always looking forward to tomorrow, growing and innovating. So even if the plans you have for the future aren't the same as the plans that the future holds for you, you can be ready. Because we'll be ready, like we have been for over 100 years. Trust in that. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to your mutual agent today. Your local agent is on the square. Louisville Clay County Farmers Mutual Insurance. For over 50 years at your locally owned and operated Roll King Supply in Salem and Olney, we've helped you and your neighbors enjoy an easy country lifestyle. We carry the most thorough sporting goods department around with a huge variety of hunting and fishing gear, camping equipment, and a variety of firearms for any need. Our team is here to help you find whatever you need. Open every day, it's Roll King in Salem and Olney, your locally owned farm and home store. In 1916, Warren Miller chose auto owner's insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto owner's insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. Dominic Ashley to lead things off here in the bottom of the fourth for Dietrich. Gavin Harrell beginning his fourth inning of work. He has been fantastic. Three innings of shutout ball, two hits, seven strikeouts. Behind on Dominic Ashley, 1-0. Ashley struck out his first time up. One of the first six batters to strike out against Harrell. There's a ground ball to second. And Biggs will move to his left and make the throw. So 
So Ashley retired for the second time. Now comes Gavin French. Flag in center field dead right now, but the wind's still blowing here in the infield. French takes the first pitch, 1-0. Here's the second one to Gavin. That one finds the zone. French also struck out back in the second. The 1-1. That French's hands, 2-1. All five runs for Sisney coming in the first inning. They came to play, they came to hit, and Harrell came to pitch. Three and one on French. Caught in the miss from Gavin. After him, it'll be Lucas Wettendorf. Westendorf. 3-2, inside, ball four. So French will get on with the walk, and here comes Westendorf. He started the game on the mound, struggled in those first couple of innings, especially that one, that first inning where he got rocked for five runs. He's now in left field. First pitch to Lucas. Misses. 1-0. Seven on seven. Next one and swung through. One and one. A beautiful day here in Dietrich, Illinois. A very windy day, if you haven't been able to tell by the movement at our cameras. The pitch is in, runner to the second, throw to second. And it'll scurry into shallow center, but recovered by Howard. So steal for French. He's at second with one down. Harrell sets 2-1. Tried to get that slider. 3-1. Harrell struggling with command in the third and gets that over for a strike. Looked like he was going to walk Westendorf there, but he just got a piece. And now, back-to-back -back batters, back-to-back -back three and two counts. Three, two, swing and a miss. That breaking ball just disappeared from the bat head of Westendorf, and that is out number two. Eight strikeouts today for Gavin Harrell. Gavin Meinhardt now. A short stop. Gavin on Gavin. Right side. Biggs picks it up. Throws it over to Dag. No problem. 4-3. And the inning is over. Dietrich once again putting a runner on second. But can't get the big hit. So after four, it is Sisney five. Dietrich, nothing. We'll move into the top of the fifth. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Do you bowl like this? That's great. Do you bowl like this? That's great, too. That's because whether you're a pro or you just want to have a lot of fun, at Peggle's Silver Dollar Lanes, we have a lane for you. We have Galaxy Bowling, Gaming for Kids and Adults, Joe's Pizza, a full bar, darts, pool, and fresh and clean bowling shoes. Boy, does that smell nice. So come on down to Pagel Silver Dollar Lanes in Effingham, where we have a lane for you. Discover a world of style and comfort for your home at Chapman's Design and Furniture. Looking for the ultimate relaxation? Don't miss our uplifting comfort series recliners. Sink into luxury and unwind like never before. Visit us on Main Street in Salem or call 618-548-2221. Elevate your home with Chapman's Design and Furniture, creating beautiful spaces one room at a time. Well, it has been all Sisney here as we start the fifth inning. 5 nothing, running Lions. 
Danny Valle here with you at Dietrich Junior Senior High School in Dietrich, Illinois. Thank you for joining us today. It has been another week of wet weather where we have had to cancel some games. Yesterday's broadcast featuring Dietrich and Tutopolis right here at this ballpark, unable to be played. But today the ground crews got here bright and early after some rain this morning. Got this beautiful field set for us for some IHSA baseball. Sisney loving this field today. They scored five runs in that opening inning. Three straight hits to start the game. Zach Gavin Harrell had an RBI. Then Baker had an RBI walk. Zach Dagg, two-run single. And then Caden Baker came around to score after a throwing error in the left field from the catcher. And there's a knock in the center field. And that's going to get down. So Caden Baker getting on for the second time today. Was on via a walk last time. This time he does it the hard way with a hit. Caden Dagg coming up. And Dagg shoots one to second. There's the turn. Four, six. And he can't get him at first. So Baker out at second on the 4-6. Caden Dagg will reach on the fielder's choice. And now it's up to Zach Dagg, the younger brother, the first baseman, to try and add on to the Sisney lead. Top of the fifth here, one out. Ashley still pitching in his third inning of work. Gets that over for a strike. One one on Zach Dagg. Pitch, throw to second, and into second, sliding in safely is Caden Dagg. As the throw got away into center field. Caden Dagg at second, Zach Dagg at the plate. One down. Dagg reaches. That is going to be an infield. If that was actually a good ball, it was a live ball. And that goes one to three. So two down. A little confusing at first. The umpire didn't say foul. And so a good job by the catcher, Carson Baxter, to be aware. There's a bunt over toward third. That's Andrew Hall. He's going to make the throw across the diamond for the third out of the inning. Once again, Sisney putting runners at second and at third, but they can't come around to score. We are through four and a half. It is Sisney five, Dietrich nothing. This is IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. Dietrich trying to get something going here. The moving Maroons haven't done too much moving on the base paths. It is five nothing running lines. They've been doing all the running. Gavin Harrell working in his fifth inning. He has been dazzling today. Big breaking ball over for a strike. 
Eight strikeouts for Gavin so far today. Facing him is the center fielder, Jackson Funneman. So he flails at that one, 0-2. Oh Sisney had come in losing two in a row. And so have the moving Maroons. Yeah, Sisney hadn't won a game since March 25th. That was against NCOE, North City Omaha Enfield. That was on March 25th, a 10-2 victory. 1-2 to Funneman. And that just misses the plate. 2-2. Two and two. Another big burst of wind blowing toward home plate. It's been that kind of a day. Hasn't bothered Sisney's offense too much, though. In fact, all that scoring, they got it out of the way in the first inning. Called strike three. Another strikeout for Gavin Harrell, and he is just untouchable today. Nine strikeouts through four and a third innings. And that one is in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. Andrew Hall for Dietrich. Got on with a single in the third inning. Infield playing back, Hall. With a half swing, appeal down to first, and he says he went. That over there is Tyus Holmes down there at the first baseline. One and one the count on Andrew Hall. He's manning the hot corner at third. And that's in there for a strike, two, one and two. Carson Baxter up next for Dietrich. Should Hall reach? 1-2, on the way from Harrell. Back to Gavin. Gets it on the bounce, and he's going to flip it over to first. Two down. Harrell making it look easy up there. Now to the nine hitter, Carson Baxter, the catcher for the moving Maroons. One catches the edge of his own for a strike. 0 oh 1. Harrell, for the most part, has been able to spot his pitches. He's been able to paint well. Gets one off the end of the bat. Strike two. Oh, 2 coming. There's a ground ball foul heading toward the Dietrich dugout. Dietrich and Sisney softball still going on just a few hundred feet to our left. And the field is to the right of your screen. Gavin Harrell has nine strikeouts. Can he make it ten? You bet. Ten strikeouts for Gavin Harrell. And we are through five. It is Sisney five, Dietrich nothing. We'll head to the sixth inning here on Wabash Catch TV. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know-How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. 
Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. And all in bank, you just ask a fee. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Top of the sixth here in Dietrich. Sisney le leading five to nothing. It has been the Gavin Harrell hour. Five innings pitched, ten strikeouts, two hits allowed to the moving Maroons. Ashley in his fourth inning of work. He has struck out two. There's a ground ball hit toward third. Gobbled up by Hall. He's going to have to try and make a great throw, but that is over the head of Landon Keck. Over to second, heads Josh Biggs. So Biggs getting on on the error from third. Biggs at second. Nobody on for Sisney. Breaking ball is upstairs. 1-0. Hagen Howard, the leadoff man. One for two. I should say 0 for two with a walk. Correction, my apologies. One for three. He had a single and scored in the first. One, one the count on Howard. Biggs at second. And Howard skies it foul. Going to go reach the high school. Ooh, hit the high school wall. Next game here on Catch TV will be Monday. We'll tell you a little bit, a bit about that as that is sent into right center. Base hit. Here comes the runner around second, and he's going to try and score. Ball is bobbled at the plate, and he is safe. So Biggs coming around from second to score. And it is now 6 nothing. Sisney. Hagen Howard with a base hit, and he's going to advance to second on the throw. Six nothing. Sisney. First run since the fifth inning that we've seen today. There's a first pitch strike over to Cooper Bowen. Bowen is two for two, two singles and a steal. He's two for three, two singles and a steal. And there's a shot in the right field, base hit. Here comes Howard around third. He's going to try and score as well. The ball is bobbled in right by Burgeon. Into second is Bowen. It is 7-0, Sisney. First three batters reach for the running Lions, two of them already coming around to score. Here comes Gavin Harrell. This is something he likes to see. There's a shot toward Hall. He's going to have to make a long, strong throw, and he does. Back to third, the throw there, he's safe. 
So Gavin Harrell thrown out on the 5-3 putout. Nice throw by Andrew Hall. And then the throw to third from first dag. Couldn't get Bowen. And so Bowen is at third with one out. Slow breaking ball for a strike on Noah Leg. Leg walked in the first inning. Officially 0 for 2 with a run scored. 0 and 1 on Noah Leg. And that is low. Seven nothing Sisney. The one one. Skies it high in the right. Burgeon going out. Nearly makes the diving catch, but it pops out of the glove. Another run scores. That is Bowen. It is now 8 nothing Sisney. It did hit the glove of Justin Burgeon, so maybe a tough error to give to him. Made a great effort on the dive, and it was in his glove. It just popped out. Tough luck. And a good happenstance for Sisney. Ain't nothing. Most runs scored by the Sisney Running Lions since their last win back on March 25th. That was a 10-2 win. And then before that, it was a 10-0 win over Grayville on March 21st. 2-0. Strike one. Baker singled in the fifth, grounded out in the third, and he walked and scored in the first. The ground ball to Hall. He's been busy over there at third. On the run, and he is out. Man, Andrew Hall really does have a good arm over there at third. And he did that on the run. Seeing some good defense over here in the hot corner by Andrew Hall. Unfortunately for Dietrich, that can't buy you any runs. That can only save them. That one is chopped foul toward the Sisney dugout. Caden Dagg. He is 0 for 3. He reached on a fielder's choice. He's 1 for 3. He reached on a fielder's choice, singled in this first inning. Dag batting from the right, from the left side, 0-1. Breaking ball over for a strike, 0-2. Sisney, the running Lions, doing a lot of running today. 8 to nothing. They have crossed the plate. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt. And Baxter will throw to first to complete the strikeout. And so the Sisney running Lions bring up seven men to the plate. Three come around to score. Rather, three come around to score, and it is eight nothing Sisney. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth here on Wabash Catch TV. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and a wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory of Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. 
It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. Back here in Dietrich. First pitch strike for Sisney is over. Hagen Howard on the mound now for Gavin Harrell. He was amazing today. Five innings pitch, 10 strikeouts, two hits. So Howard will be the new pitcher. And that one hits the leadoff man for Dietrich Landon Keck. And the bunt attempt pushed foul by Mason Lighty. Sisney, 14 hits on the day, eight runs, no errors. Dietrich, two hits, three errors. It's been a day of opposite teams. 0-1. That one's grounded foul at the plate. Lighty, the second baseman for the Dietrich moving Maroons. Has eight hits this year for Dietrich. None today. Only two hits today for Dietrich. That one inside, throw to second, the slide, he's out. Landon Keck gets thrown out, trying to advance to second. On the wild pitch, and he gets thrown out, out number one. Base is clear, still 8 nothing. Sisney. Lighty grounds it foul. Mason Lighty leading the team with a 400 batting average. Coming into today, he has four RBI, three doubles. Dietrich in danger of going to two and seven after today. There is a big fly ball in the left field, and that's going to get down foul. That would have been Lighty's ninth hit of the year. And it would have been the beginning of a lime climb back up on the scoreboard. Five runs for Sisney in the first, three in the sixth. The one-two. Jams him inside. We'll do it again. The pitcher Howard started the game at short. Him and Harrell have switched positions. Harrell now at short. Howard on the mound. The one-two to Lighty. Ooh, and it nearly hits him. Lighty jumping out of the way. The count even at two. Softball just finishing up for Dietrich and Sisney. Full count pitch to Lighty. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Howard. Throw to set first. He's got him. That goes one to three, two down.
Dominic Ashley. Gets a ground ball to second, moving to his left. Biggs throws to his left to Dag. One, two, three. So Dietrich goes down in order, and we will go to the top of the seventh. Time running out for the moving Maroons, as it has been all Sisney as the running Lions lead it eight to nothing. You're watching IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Dedicated, devoted, and driven. The folks at Amy Lee Realty are here to find you the home that you deserve. Born and raised in Clay County and Northern Wayne County, the real estate needs of our area are Amy Lee's expertise. Check out Amy Lee's Facebook page for current promotions or browse local listings at amyleerealty.com. Or if you're looking to buy something new or sell your property, come into Amy Lee Realty in Flora to see what she can do for you. Chapman's Furniture has the best prices every day. You can find them open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5 and located at 210, 300, and 306 West Main Street in Salem. Chapman's features a full line of furniture, including Ashley Furniture, Bedding by Sealy and Bimco, and the largest selection of rugs in Southern Illinois. They have a huge selection of recliners, including lift and power, and wallpaper and border in stock at closeout prices. Call 618-548. 8-0 Sisney, first pitch from Dominic Ashley. Goes to the backstop, it's 1-0. Next pitch from Dominic, misses inside, it's 2-0. On the batter, Zach Dagg, first baseman today. 3-0 on Dagg. Here in Dietrich, Illinois, the village of Dietrich, population 890. We're about 11 miles east of Effingham here in Effingham County. Ground ball foul. Dietrich in danger of losing its third straight game. They can't mount a comeback here against the running Lions. They only have three outs to work with. Dietrich fell to nearby Newton, eight to nothing on Tuesday. Then last week to Effingham, 10 to two. Last win for the Moving Maroons came on April 2nd. It was a 22-4 win over Oblong Hudsonville, Palestine. Dag on with a walk. Here comes Alex Clements. And a new batter for Sisney here. Get you the name here in just a moment. It is Aaron Baker, number 25. Batting in place of Clements, whose day is done. The freshman Aaron Baker. Up ahead on the count, 2-0. They'll have a meeting at the mound. Yeah, next game for us will be Monday here on Catch TV. We'll have Fairfield at North Clay. And the game starts at around 4.30. And thank you once again for joining us after yesterday's postponement. We are supposed to have Dietrich Tutopolis yesterday, of course. The rain came in, and the rain actually came in this morning. The grounds crew had spent many hours getting this field ready, and wow, it 
doesn't even look like it rained at all here in Dietrich if you look at this ball field. And so Dietrich will bring up a new pitcher as Gavin Meinhardt. So he'll move from short to the mound. And looks like Ashley is going back to the dugout. He is done. And we'll take a breather and we'll settle this in just a moment here on Wabash Catch TV. Clay County Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital, professional care, compassionate hearts. Hi, my name is Landon Carter and I'm a financial consultant at Benjamin F. Edwards in Flora. Whether you're planning to send a loved one to school, preparing for retirement, or passing your wealth to the next generation, we have the knowledge and perspective to implement financial strategies that will help you move smoothly through life's transitions. Here at Edwards, our clients know that we are fully invested in their financial future. To find out more, Cole Duke and I invite you to give us a call at 618-508-8050. Benjamin F. Edwards, member SIPC. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand... Infield remains the same. New pitcher, though. It'll be Meinhard moving from short to the mound. Lucas Wenstendorf now at short after playing left. Two one on the way. Half swing. And umpire said it was a full swing. Two and two. And this is Aaron Baker, the freshman, coming in for Alex Clements. Runner at first is Dag, who got on with a walk. That one misses the zone, full count. After him, it would be Josh Biggs, unless they made another change. Full count pitch, called strike three. Aaron Baker goes down looking, out number one. And indeed it is Biggs coming up to the plate. Biggs reached on an error and score. He reached on an error back in the second and was stranded or was thrown out at second. Swings through that one, one and one. Five in the first for Sisney and six in the third. Dietrich shut out through the first six innings of this ball game. The 2-1. Another swing, another miss. 2-2 two and two on Biggs. The second baseman for Sisney. Waiting on the 2-2. Two -two. That is low. Next game for Dietrich will be at Odin Patoka Sandoval. That'll be on Monday. And for Sisney, they'll go back home Tuesday and play Waltonville in a Midland Trail Conference game. That'll be a noon game. Another foul back. Biggs putting up a good battle here against Meinhardt. Three two. 
Pops it up right side. It hits the top of the fence and goes out of play. Another big gust from this wind today. Full count pitch. There's a shot in the center field, but it's hit right to Jackson Funneman. Two outs now for Sisney. Back to the top of the lineup, Hagen Howard. Wind blowing in, shifting from in to right field. Center and right center and left center, deepest parts of that ballpark. Shot to Lighty, and he catches it on the line, an L4, and that will end the inning for Sisney. Last chance for Dietrich. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. It is the Running Lions, eight. The moving Maroons, nothing. This is IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. My grandfather, Carol Rush, opened Rush Appliance in October of 1949. This is Sean Rush, and I am driven by the same determination and commitment to quality that set us on the road to success. A lot has changed in the appliance industry since 1949, but at Rush Appliance, we're doing everything we can to remain trusted, strong, and competitive. We are extremely proud of our roots, and we look forward to providing you with quality and service at Rush Appliance and Furniture Company in downtown Fairfield. For nearly 40 years, family-owned Little Egypt Golf Cars has been dedicated to serving Southern Illinois' golf and utility car needs. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility located along I-57 in Salem. Our interactive showroom displays all of the latest accessories and vehicle designs. We offer new and used vehicle sales, a full parts and service department, and a rental fleet of over 600 vehicles. Whether it's riding in style on the course, cruising with the family, or having a rugged vehicle on the job site, we have you covered. Proudly serving Illinois and Missouri with three locations. Head on down to Boyd Discount Furniture and Mattress Center in Wayne City, Illinois. The finest names in comfort, beauty, and function like Ashley, Serta, and Brooks are waiting for you on both sides of the main drag in downtown Wayne City. Head on down to Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center or BoydFurn.com for huge selections of sofas, sectionals, recliners, leather furniture, beds, mattress sets, sleeper sofas, coffee, big on That's value, all nice roads stand. lead Nine to Boyd. Seven. Office furniture. Last chance for the moving Maroons. It is 8 0. Sisney, the running Lions, scoring five in the first and three in the sixth. Dietrich only mustering a handful of base runners and two hits. They've had four runners on base all day. via a walk or a hit by pitch and then two runners on via a hit so six runners total on the base pass for the moving maroons swing and a miss 0-2 on the batter for Dietrich as Justin Bernjen now batting in for Gavin French whose day is done and Bernjen strikes out looking Another strikeout for Sisney pitching. That's 11 strikeouts, 10 of those belonging to Gavin Harrell. Village of Dietrich here in Effingham County. We're about 11 miles east of Effingham. And when you drive into the ballpark, you're going to be greeted by a war memorial dedicated to the soldiers that fought in World War I. Ball grounded foul. Yeah, during World War I, there was a machine gun company formed of men from Dietrich and the surrounding area. Apparently, Dietrich was the smallest town in the U.S. to accomplish such a feat. They were the 130th Infantry, made of 72 men. They were known as Dietrich Machine Company. G, served in France from February 1917 through the end of the war. 
November 11th, 1918. Everybody in that company, all 72 men, survived their tour of duty in France. And once the men returned home, they were greeted with a hero's welcome. And the community building a memorial arch in their honor that greets you at the entrance to this park. And Westendorf, today's starting pitcher, now shortstop, works a walk. And that memorial erected around the arch years later, dedicated on Memorial Day 2001. The village's history dates back to 1870 when a man named Michael Dietrich came to Effingham County and purchased a piece of land and, of course, that would later become known as the village of Dietrich. The moving Maroons trying to get some more moving done. That ball goes to the backstop. Westendorf will find his way to second. Gavin Meinhardt, 0 for 2 today. Now up ahead, 2 and 0 in the count. That's in there for a strike. And another strike. On Meinhardt. Special thanks to our crew today. Shot through the left side. Base hit. Gavin Meinhardt with a, only the third hit of the day for the moving Maroons. Westendorf will move to third after the steal and the hit. So the Maroons... Getting something going here with one out. Runners at the corners. Again, our special thanks to our crew, our director, Abby Springmeyer, our replay man, Ty Landreth, and our camera operators, Mason Hager and Tyler Edwards. Thank you all for the hard work you've done today and throughout the season and throughout your tenures here at Catch TV. Also, thanks to Jansen Zink and Bruce Dickey over at Catch TV. And a thank you to the Dietrich coaches here today. Fly ball in the center field, playable. And the throw is going to come home. And that run's going to score. First run of the day for Dietrich comes here in the seventh. As that ball is actually going to be out. And that game is over. So the run scores. Then a runner is tagged out. And this ball game is over. So Sisney, one of the weirdest endings to a baseball game you'll see, but a win nonetheless for the running Lions. They end a two-game losing streak as they top the Dietrich moving Maroons on the road, 8-1 to one the final here from Dietrich Junior Senior High School. Quick scoring recap for you before we finish off and let you go on for the rest of the day as we have a beautiful weekend ahead of us weather-wise. Hopefully we'll dodge that rain. Of course, we are waiting for more of it next week, so we will keep you up to date on our schedule. Eight runs, 14 hits for the running Lions. One run, three hits, three errors for the moving Maroons as Dietrich now drops their third straight game. The Dietrich moving Maroons moving to two and seven. Meanwhile, Sisney above 500 at four and three. There was five runs scored in that first inning right away from Sisney. Three straight singles to open the game. An RBI by the pitcher Gavin Harrell, who was dealing today on the mound. Then Baker, Caden Baker, had an RBI walk. Caden Dagg had the two-run single. And then Baker came around to score after a throwing error from the catcher to left field. And then in the sixth inning, Josh Biggs 
reached on an error, got to second, and he ended up scoring on the single from Hagen Howard. And then on the throw, Howard advanced to third, and then Cooper Bowen singled in Howard. And then Bowen would later come around and score to make it 8 nothing. And then, as you just saw, Dietrich stringing a couple of hits together to get their only run of the game. Our next game for you here on Wabash Catch TV will be Monday afternoon as Fairfield visits North Clay. So, again, for everybody here, the crew here at Catch TV, for all our umpires in this game, coaches, and everybody else watching at home, we want to thank you for watching our presentation of IHSA Baseball. We'll see you again on Monday. The final, once again, here from Dietrich, the Sisney Running Lions, running away with this one over the Dietrich Moving Maroons, 8-1, to one, the final. This has been a presentation of IHSA Baseball here on Wabash Catch TV. Have a great night.